Alrighty, guys, this is Snugs on Blitz, and I'm back with another video for you today. The Object 704 has been in the game forever. It's one of the old boys in the game. Is it still a good tank today? Well, I'm going to answer that question in a little bit. But before I do so, if you like my content, if you like my stuff, if you want to see more stuff from me, hit like, hit the notification button, become a sub. Become one of the Snug Army. I really appreciate it. And of course, comment down below what your thoughts are of the Object 704. Anyway, let me give you a review of the tank. I'm going to say overall, I guess very good. Um, yeah, tough one. Between very good and good, but I'm going to stay with very good. Uh, gun. I'm going to again say very good. Not quite great, but yeah, definitely a solid gun. No doubt. Armor. Iffy. You'll get a few bounces here and there, for sure. But I wouldn't rely on it at all. And maneuverability. It is relatively fast. I'm going to say good. It doesn't have a turret. So, yeah, that's its downfall. But still decently fast. Anyway, with that, let's jump right in. Look at the lineups. They have an E75, a K91, and a T30. Oof, painful. They also have an ISU, which is the baby brother of this tank. Honestly, if you like the ISU 152's playstyle, then this is just, in many ways, a better version of that. The gun is about equal, uh, but this is faster, it's got better armor. So you can do more in the game. What I would say is that ISU gets to fight a lot of tier 7 tanks and tier 8 tanks, and even tier 9 tanks, and the gun just rips right through them. But this tank has to face a lot of tier 10, which means IS-4s, Type 71s, IS-7s, and yeah, sometimes you are going to struggle to pen them. But you're not going to struggle to pen that shot. <laughs> Side on. Goodness me. So, they're a tank up. So far, so good. Hey, you think this is going to be a walk in the park. They've gotten rid of one of their super heavy tanks. Huh, nice, right? That's the way you start off a game. Now he's taken the Sniper's Hill, that's what I like to call it, because it's one of the most powerful positions in the game. You can shoot across the map, you can shoot B, you can shoot A, you can pretty, shoot, you can pretty much shoot anywhere. So it's a TD's dream spot. It's probably the most powerful tank destroyer spot in the entire game, in my opinion. Okay, but right now, uh, he's just waiting for his opportunities. Can we get a shot in here? Nice shot there. All the way across the map? Not really a problem. Oh yeah, oh, they got rid of one of his uh, teammates, but yeah, that's okay. Two of these tanks are not looking too healthy, so with any luck, they'll be able to get rid of them. Unfortunately, um, they lost another tank. Now my buddy starts to push in here. Okay. Uh, now they're even Stevens. I'm not really sure he needed to push in, but he hasn't gone in, you know, gung ho. He's. That's unfortunate. I'm sure he would have liked that shot. Luckily, he still hasn't been spotted, so that's great news. But the other team is doing quite well in the sense of not getting themselves into trouble. And it's four versus five now. The best thing... <laughs> well, somebody hit him for three points. Wow, that's an HE, that's for sure. Um, they've got two bases. Um, why are they pushing the issue? You've got two bases, just... Be patient. Let them move on in. Okay, so they're getting C, but the ISU um, is in a lot of trouble now. He's put himself in a bad position. Oh, he got wrecked there. Oh, oh no. And he's going to get wrecked again. But um, no shot there against the STA. Uh, three versus five. 
Now, you would have thought that getting rid of their E-75 early on was a godsend, but, I mean, I've seen crazier things happen than teams throw games. There's something about a false sense of security when you get rid of a top-tier tank right off the bat. You think, ah, oh, we got this. It's all over. We're, we're awesome. And people push in a little bit too aggressively. I think the best thing you can do is just be a little more patient now. ISU finally pushes in here, and uh, he's gonna regret that decision. So, three versus one. Will my buddy be able to hold them off? Let's see. They've got two bases, unfortunately. He's done 3,000 damage so far, so a solid game. He's ignoring A. Um, no problem to ignore that. Sometimes the came out That's a problem, he's got three shells. Okay, one he doinked into the snow there, but now they're just coming for him. Yeah. Here he comes. Oh, brother. And he's going to take him. So he's going to ram it. Oh, he's going to ram it. Okay. But he's aiming in here. Nice shot in there. And the cane, the one I think is on a big reload. He's not using his speed to get around him. Uh, and he's going to pay the price here. But he's not dead. And that means three shells are coming my buddy's way. One shot. Uh, can he get a bounce? Nope, that's two shots. Uh, oh, three shots. So that really hurt. You know, low rolls happen. 5,000 damage. Uh, two versus one, and oh, brother. Yeah. And he says, good game. And rightfully so. Yeah, he did well, but his team just sucked. 5,885. A mastery, a well-deserved mastery in a losing effort. I mean, look at that. Two tigers combined for like 700 damage. Oh my god. They had an STA on their team, which is a horrible tank. Their E-75 did nothing, and yet they were still able to come up with a victory thanks to their ISU. 4,000. Great job, ISU. Uh, yeah, um, hey, them the breaks, but a well-deserved, um, mastery for my buddy. So, good job there, but unfortunately it wasn't a win. What can you do? You can only do so much, and then you just tip your hat and go, yep, you beat us. They didn't beat you, they beat your team. Anyway, that's all I got for you. If you like this video, as I said early on, do all the cool jazz. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Snugs on Blitz.